about a shooting at an amusement park in northern Illinois as police continue to search for the suspects. Plus, federal law enforcement is warning agencies of violent domestic extremists following the search of former President Trump's Florida home. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to News 3 Now at Noon. I'm McKenna Alexander. Police now believe a shooting at an amusement park in northern Illinois was a targeted attack. Three people, including a teen from Appleton, were hurt in the shooting. It happened at Six Flags Great America in Gurney just before 8 last night. Police say the suspects drove a white sedan toward the park's entrance and then got out of the car before shooting at another person in the lot, then driving away. Three people were injured but are expected to be all right. Meanwhile, police are still searching for the suspect. Follow along as we learn more over on channel3000.com. 27-year-old Damon Hanna will be in court for a preliminary hearing, hearing today after allegedly killing a man last year. 33-year-old Jordan Jefferson was shot and killed in Beloit in March of 2021. Hanna was arrested last month here in Madison for the shooting. A judge has set Hanna's cash bond at $500,000. Beloit's police chief says they expect more people to be arrested in connection to Jefferson's death. Let's go ahead and head to the Weather Center now where meteorologist Chris Reese has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Hey, morning. Clouds are starting to sneak back into the picture. A bit. Uh, but as those clouds start to sneak back in, we're still going to see temperatures that warm up into the 70s for those highs later on this afternoon. Still a beautiful shot right now. You see some of that added cloud cover working its way into the middle layers of our atmosphere. No rain right here over our part of the country, but still there is some rain sneaking by just to our west. Most of that fizzles out, but that's what will be responsible for that added cloud cover. Low to mid 70s. That's your temperature stand as you head out the door right now. We still have that northerly wind. Madison coming in at 74 with winds out of the north at seven miles per hour. As we look ahead, look for the clouds on the increase. Temperatures top out at 77. We will cool down into the 50s overnight tonight, McKenna. All right, thanks, Chris. The FBI and the Department of Homeland Security are warning law enforcement agencies to be on the lookout for violent attacks. That's in the wake of the Bureau's search of former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. The joint bulletin warns of a plot to place a dirty bomb in front of FBI headquarters, as well as online posts calling for civil war and armed rebellion. FBI agents seized 11 sets of classified classified documents from the former president's home, some of which were labeled top secret. But Trump lawyers certified in June that all classified material had already been returned from the estate. We have this list from the FBI, but we don't have conclusive as to whether or not this actually is classified material and whether or not it rises to the level of the highest classified material. So the statutes the Justice Department are uh, asserting in the search warrant uh, don't even require that they still be classified. If they would be damaging to national security, it's a problem. It's a major problem. Meanwhile, lawmakers are asking the DOJ to release the affidavit used to justify the search, or at the very least, let lawmakers see it in a secure location. There's also a bipartisan push asking the department to deliver an assessment of what national security damage was done, if any. Meanwhile, there's new concerns about security at the nation's capital after a man crashed his car into a barricade, opened fire, and then took his own life over the weekend. No one else was hurt in the incident. Though Capitol Police say 29-year-old Richard York III shot and killed himself as officers approached him. A motive is still unclear, but investigators say it doesn't appear York was targeting members of Congress who were gone for the August recess. Go ahead and check your pantries. If you have some King's Hawaiian products, they might need to be thrown out. The company is recalling pretzel slider buns, pretzel hamburger buns, and pretzel bites. It's a voluntary decision, but the company says it wants to be extra careful. One of the ingredients used in the pretzel products was recalled by another company. There haven't been any reports of the products getting anyone sick, but the company is still urging everyone to throw those products out just in case. The greatest button show on earth wrapped up in Middleton over the weekend. Wisconsin has eight button clubs that meet regularly to study and discuss buttons. And those groups played host to the 2020, 2022 National Button Society show last week. The six-day event offering educational programs and competition features antique, vintage, and modern clothing buttons. Button collecting is one of the few collecting areas that's increasing as opposed to stamps and coins. Organizers say it's important to take any opportunity to learn about the art and history of these treasures. Wisconsin, of course, is the the center, the epicenter of uh, the circus entertainment uh, 
history and that kind of thing. And so when we come to Wisconsin, there's also uh, access to uh, circus museums and circus uh, paraphernalia and circus history. Uh, and of course, uh, some of our buttons uh, duplicate that effort in a whole bunch of ways. If you'd like to learn more, you can look for this story over on channel3000.com. There's more to come on News 3 Now at Noon. Amazon is working on a new show that highlights some amazing footage caught on Ring Doorbell Camps. Details when we return. You're watching News 3 Now at Noon. Attention homeowners, we started with 50. Now we're looking for 30 homeowners who need new windows. We want to take your old windows out and install new Eco Sky windows, featuring Sky Mirror technology to give your home an energy upgrade. Call Mad City Windows, Wisconsin's number one remodeler and trusted local source for the new Eco Sky windows. Act now to be one of 30 homeowners who receive special savings with free installation on a house full of new windows. 18 months, no interest, no payments. Senior and military discounts will take before and after pictures and compensate you for your time. Call during this program and receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify 608-338-1616. That's 608-338-1616. If Tim Michaels is governor, here's what reproductive health care would look like in Wisconsin. Providing abortions? A felony. Exceptions in cases of rape or incest? None. Here's what Michaels says to Wisconsin women who get pregnant after being raped. To ask her to go through the birth is not unreasonable. Tim Michaels is a radical and divisive politician coming for your rights. Wisconsin women deserve better. Vote no on Tim Michaels. It's Steinhoffel's Furniture and Mattress Superstore's Labor Day Sale. Start with store-wide savings of 35 to 65%. Plus, take advantage of tons of bonus buys. Mattresses, dining, sofas, bedrooms, and more. It's all on sale. And with Steinhoffel's Special Financing, your furniture just got more affordable. It's Steinhoffel's Labor Day Sale. Shop now and find great deals in-store and online at steinhoffel's.com. When we needed new doors and windows for our home, we were looking for someone we could trust. We've done the bargain brand windows. What we loved about Nextdoor and Window is that they were different. We really loved their educational approach. Call 844-600-NEXT. 50% off your installation. I love this state. Knock on any door in any county, and you'll find good-hearted, hard-working folks. People whose businesses are proudly helped as Lieutenant Governor. Hard work needs to be respected again with fair wages and opportunities to get ahead. That's how my parents opened doors for me. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I'm not one of these millionaires. I work just as hard for you as you work for your family. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. Prices globally remain high. Saudi oil company Aramco says it saw a 90% surge in net profits for the second quarter of 2022 compared to the same time last year. Half year profits reached nearly $88 billion. The oil and gas company, which is nearly entirely state owned, said the profits were driven primarily by higher crude oil prices and volumes sold. It's the latest oil company to report massive or record breaking profits this year, joining ExxonMobil, Chevron, on NBP. Four of the big cruise lines are dropping COVID vaccination requirements on many trips. Carnival Cruise Line and Princess Cruises will no longer require guests to apply for a vaccination exemption for most trips fewer than 16 days. Royal Caribbean and Celebrity Cruises said they'll do the same on some of their trips. The cruise lines say they still have to abide by local regulations at ports outside the U.S. where they travel. 
Ring doorbell cameras have a knack for recording some of the most viral videos online. So Amazon, which owns Ring, has decided to take the best of them and create a new TV show that's being described as similar in concept to America's Funniest Home Videos. The half-hour show will be called Ring Videos and will be produced by MGM Studios, which is also owned by Amazon. The syndicated show will be hosted by comedian Wanda Sykes and premiere on September 26th. That is your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Elise Preston. At the noon hour, the Dow is up 164, NASDAQ up 50, and the S&P 500 is up 11. Our call for action volunteers are in the building, taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. You're taking a live look at our call for action studio. Volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. You can call for action at the number on your screen or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Next at noon, Pam Yonke has your farm numbers. Plus, what does the forecast have in store? Chris has the latest coming up after the break. You know, higher temperatures lead to higher power bills. So this summer, call Mad City for our exclusive Eco Sky windows with a higher energy rating than other windows on the market. Plus, Sky Mirror technology and layers of low E work to block out harmful UV rays. Insulating and keeping the home, you know, cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter, um, just looking nice. Now listen to this, 30 homeowners who need new windows will save with free installation on a house full of new windows. 18 months, no interest, no payments. We're going to compensate you for your time. And if you call right now, you get a $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate from Mad City Windows. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify 608-338-1616. That's 608-338-1616. Senator Johnson's work and family define him. He and his brothers and sisters were raised by two loving parents with deep faith who taught him the value of work. As a young man, he shoveled driveways, mowed lawns, delivered papers, caddied, played Little League Baseball, and bailed hay on his uncle's farm. At 15, he got a dishwashing job at Walgreens Grill and became night manager before he was 16. After college, he married Jane, his wife of 45 years, and moved to Oshkosh to start a manufacturing business with Jane's brother. For the first year, the two traded 12-hour shifts. Over the next 30 years, Senator Johnson performed just about every task in that business. He installed and operated the equipment, loaded trucks, kept the books, and sold its products all over the world. His business didn't export jobs, it exported plastic. His quiet but extensive charitable work was never done for show, but simply to lend a helping hand, a value he learned from our parents. He's my brother and my best friend. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Imagine a world without breast cancer. What if you were the one more we needed to raise one more dollar, take one more step, share one more story? The power of one starts with you. Join us for the More Than Pink Walk, August 28th. It's go time, people. We all have a story to tell. So let's come together to laugh out loud, to share some hope and joy. All on my new show. Weekdays on WISC-TV starting September 12th. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. All right, let's check in now with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report. Pam, how are you doing today? I'm all right, McKenna. I hope that you're doing the same. This weather looks beautiful. Uh, more sunshine than I expected, and that's good for our Wisconsin farmers. On Friday, we got the news from the U.S. Department of Agriculture that they actually expect more from our farm fields this growing season compared to last. Now, that's having a negative impact on our market so far today, but it's good news for Wisconsin farmers. On Friday, USDA said that they are raising the expectations on our Wisconsin corn crop by uh, about a percentage point. They're now expecting 185 bushels of the acre on average as far as the corn yield, that's up five bushel per acre compared to last year. If we bring it all in, that'd be about 555 million bushel in total. Soybeans, kind of the same situation. They are projecting that we'll bring in about 52 bushel to the acre on average. Now that's three bushel less than last year, but it is a one percentage point increase compared to their previous forecast. About 115 million bushel is what they're looking at. So all in all, uh, corn and soybeans across the state of Wisconsin still doing very, very well as long as we don't have any kind 
kind of tragic uh, weather event or insects that moved in. Also talking a little bit about what's happening with our lenders. You know, right now they are obviously on the hot seat. A lot of questions from farmers on what's coming up next year. The good news is we've got more ag lenders that are populating in the state. According to Lori Kelscher with the Wisconsin Bankers Association, they've got 11 lenders that are signed up for their lending school that happens over the course of a couple weeks' time here, uh, August and into September. And she said that's very good to see that more and more folks are looking at the specifics, the uniqueness of ag lending. Barrel cheese today up six in Chicago at 194 and three quarters. 40 pound block cheese up four and a half at 189. Even the double A butter picks up a nickel to start, start us off on a Monday back to 298 and a half per pound. So the dairy complex, McKenna, definitely the bright shining light for our commodities today. The rest, not so much so. It's a good way to start the week. Thanks, Pam. Chris yeah. Reese joins us now with our latest forecast. Chris? Yeah, we're looking at a little bit of some sunshine out there right now. This is some good news. Still quite a few clouds. Clouds are into the mix, but we are seeing the sunshine as it stands. So that is some good news for us. This right here is just one of our traffic cameras. Everything going along smoothly uh, on area roadways right now. You love to see it. Cloud cover will be on the increase though. And part of why we are going to see more of that cloud cover is this batch of rain. It's crossing I-29 right now, getting ready to move towards I-35 throughout parts of Iowa. This batch of rain never really makes it to us. But what it will do is send that cloud cover our way. So this is why I'm expecting more cloud cover as we go throughout the rest of our afternoon. Still though, high resolution radar, that's gonna be clear for us. Temperatures right now are hanging out into the 70s. 74 for Juno. Jade Zill, you're at 73. Wisconsin Dells a little bit cooler at 7D. Same for Viroqua. You focus in on Madison at the airport. We're at 74. Winds are out of the north at seven. Your dew point, oddly enough, at 63. So there's a little bit of moisture in the atmosphere out there. The rest of Dane County all hanging out into the 70s. Verona's our warmer spot where the temperature's at 76 right now. You see the arrows. Also, then those winds out of the north and northeast. That's why it's not terrible feeling while you are out and about. Do keep that in mind. I want to put things into motion for you. Here's that added cloud cover this afternoon. Temperatures are into the mid and upper 70s at this point. We'll clear that out, believe it or not, overnight. Temperatures dip down to about 58 degrees. Let's push forward tomorrow. Look for a few clouds in the morning. A little bit more sunshine into the afternoon. will be a little bit warmer, too, as temperatures top out into the upper 70s at that point. We've got good weather really for the rest of this week, but our next rain chance starts to move in by the end of it. Check this out. This is Friday, 5 o'clock. You see your chances for some showers starting to sneak in from the north, and we could see the daily pop-up showers, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder Friday into Saturday, maybe even to parts of Sunday as well, even lingering into Monday. But it's not a super soaking rain. It's more so we just have the chance to see those showers out there. Rainfall amounts at this point anyway look to be on the order of a tenth to a quarter inch for most of us, maybe a little bit higher towards the west. But we're also on Monday talking about Friday through next Monday. So there's certainly going to be some changes, but watch the weekend for our next chances to see any kind of rain out there. So again, mostly cloudy for the rest of us this afternoon. Temperatures do top out into the upper 70s. We'll cool things down into the 50s overnight tonight. Partly cloudy skies. You'll have the clouds at one point, then you'll start to clear out. That'll lead to more sunshine on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Those temperatures will hang out into the upper 70s as well. Here's Friday a chance for thunderstorms. If you don't see words on thunderstorms when it comes to our 10 day outlook, that means the chances are more widespread. And so that's why we see more widespread chances for rain Saturday and Sunday, and then another chance on Monday before we dry things out by the middle of next week. A little bit of rain chances, but look at those temperatures. That's a pretty good week, Chris. It feels good, and none of those rain chances at least appear to be washouts as of now. All right, I'll take it, Chris Reese. Thank you very much. Up next to Howard's in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with one of his most popular recipes. The one question that I get asked lots is, what's your favorite recipe? Well, that's like asking a parent which of their children they love more. I just can't choose a favorite. However, I do have a handful of go-to recipes like the one I'm sharing with you today. We start by placing some chicken breast in a baking pan and topping each piece with a slice of Swiss cheese. On top of that, go some sliced mushrooms. 
Now, for the sauce that makes this dish so moist and flavorful, we combine a can of cream of chicken soup with some white wine and pour it over the mushrooms. Now we sprinkle the top with a generous amount of dry stuffing mix. This is gonna give these some real crunch. We drizzle on a little melted butter and into the oven it goes until the chicken is cooked through and the topping is browned. Doesn't this look amazing? One forkful is all it takes to realize just how moist and flavorful it is. To get the recipe for what we call Fancy Fast Chicken, all you have to do is visit our website. That way, you'll have one of my all-time favorite go-to recipes right at your fingertips. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a two-thumbs-up way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Ahead at noon, Lisa Briggs from The Bruce Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. The number's on your screen. Go ahead and call. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. If you've been injured in an accident, don't take on the insurance company alone. Put resources and experience on your side. Call 800-800-5678, Hupi and Abraham, right now. From loud construction to music blaring and those annoying insects that disrupt your sleep. Things can get noisy outside, but you can enjoy some peace and quiet inside with new Eco Sky Windows exclusively from Mad City, featuring noise reducing glass to soundproof your home. And be sure to ask about grid design inside the glass for easy cleaning. Don't miss out, 30 homeowners who need new windows will save with free installation on a house full of new windows. 18 months, no interest, no payments. Senior military discounts. We're going to take before and after pictures and compensate you for your time. Last chance to call during this program and receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify 608-338-1616. That's 608-338-1616. I'm Tim Michaels. I'm, I'm not a politician. I'm a businessman who helped build a great Wisconsin company and created thousands of jobs. Tony Evers, Joe Biden, they're two peas in a pod. Both career politicians in way over their head, failing the country and the state of Wisconsin. That's why I'm running. We need to have strong, proven executive leadership in Madison that can get things done and make this state as great as it can be. It's Make My Mondays at hy V. This Monday, 8-ounce pork chops, only 99 cents. Baskin a bushel cut vegetables, only $1.50 a bag. Yo Play yogurt, only 39 cents. And Betty Crocker fruit snacks, only 99 cents. Monday only. And save even more with hy V Fuel Saver. Right now, save up to $5.23 per gallon with your hy V Fuel Saver Plus Perks card. And visit hy Deals.com for even more deals. Is the insurance company playing games with your future? The initial offer from the insurance company was $100. Hupy and Abraham were able to get me much more than I expected. It was a huge settlement. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. The number call is 608-270-9933. Judy from Rock Springs is here. Judy, what's your question? Um... Yes, I was wondering when is the best time to transplant lavender? Oh, I would say, Judy, the best time to plant lavender is in the spring. So you want to make sure that um, the, a lot of the moisture is out of the soil. So when you get your shovel in there, that it's not sopping wet. But before the plant really starts to bud out, now is not the time. Okay, Judy, thank you very much. Now we have Emily from Pornette. Emily, what's your question? Yes, hello. I have a clematis, and it's the bell-shaped blue flowers, and I'm wondering why the leaves are starting to die, and also they look kind of gray, um, grayish, like they've got something on them. 
Sounds like you've got a little bit of powdery mildew, Emily. That's a fungal disease that's really prevalent in the summer when it's warm and kind of damp. Oh. And so you can spray a, um, a fungicide on it. There are couples that are really good. I happen to like one called Revitalize. It won't make it go away, but it will stop it from developing. And then maybe next year, you might want to spray preventatively around the 4th of July. That should help. Okay, around the 4th of July. Around the 4th of July, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Lisa. You're welcome. All right, now we have Roberta from Barabee. Roberta, Roberta, what's your question? Um, I want to know when is a good time to transplant hydrangea, and can they be split? Most hydrangea cannot be split. Uh, they have a woody clump. It, it's a woody plant. They have a clump of roots, and they really don't like being split. Best time to transplant hydrangea? I would say spring is best. You could do it in the fall. You don't want to do it while it's blooming. So if you have one of the ones that blooms later in the season, uh, you're going to want to cut it back as you transplant it so it's not trying to establish and support those flowers at the same time. All right. We're going to go ahead and go now to Anna from Janesville. Anna, what's your question? Yeah, I have a question. Are you there? Yep, yep, you can go ahead. Um, I got, I'm planting a tomato plant, and it's coming up a little bit. So how long does it take to get in? Because I did it a couple weeks ago. Oh, so tomatoes are, take a lot of part of the summer to actually develop and and ripen fruit. If you have a cherry tomato and the summer stays kind of long like it has been the last couple years, you should probably get some fruit around the end of September. It's usually from the time the plant comes up to fruiting is usually about 60 days. So you might be a little on the short side for getting some fruit. All right, because right now it's all green, but there's no green stuff. Yeah, you just just be patient. Make sure it gets plenty of sun and make sure that uh -huh. if it's in a pot that you keep it evenly watered. No, I, I have it in the ground. Okay, just make sure it's getting a lot of sun and that if it gets dry that you water it. Okay, yep, all right. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, now we're going to go ahead and go to Deli from Cottage Grove. Deli, what's your question? Hi, we have some geraniums. Uh, we had a planter with five of them in, and the leaves turn yellow and brown, and eventually the plants die. We tried fungicide, but they're gone, and now we're noticing it in other pots of geraniums. Well, send us some photos to the plant desk, um, plantdesk at brucecompany.com. But generally when leaves are getting yellow and browning and then the plants are kind of shriveling up, a lot of times that's a sign of overwatering. So make sure that your pots are drying out between watering. I know that's hard when we get a torrential downpour. So if we're expecting a lot of rain, maybe put them back against the house where they're not going to get so much water. I hear you, but I, I don't think that's the case because we've been growing geraniums for many years. We do our own cuttings and everything else, and um, this year is just different. Send us some photos so that we can take a look. It's hard to diagnose things when I'm not seeing what you're seeing. So okay. email us some photos, plantdesk at brucecompany.com. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. All right, we're going to go ahead and check in with Chris now for a final look at our forecast. So there's cloud cover in Platteville already. So that cloud cover that I said would start to increase this afternoon, it is in the process of doing so. So keep that in mind. 77 is still where our temperature should top out. 78 tomorrow, 79 Thursday and Friday. Then you see those rain chances into the weekend. Doesn't appear to be a washout at the moment, but nonetheless, we will continue to watch. Drying out next week, perhaps an 80 by next Wednesday. All right, thanks for joining us. We have more news coming up for you later at 4.